Welcome back, everybody. Well, let's talk health for a minute. And as we age, you know, our metabolism slows down, our muscles and our bone density weaken, and our balance and our eye-hand eye coordination, uh, well, they start to go, too. <laughs> well, for those reasons and more, it's important in our last years to stay active. Well, joining us now is Michelle Charrington, a certified fitness instructor, with some advice on how to do just that. So welcome, Michelle. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Thanks for having you. me. Well, we all know that it's important to maintain healthy months muscle health mm -hmm. and also to be able to you know maintain your balance and things but how important yes. is it really for seniors well it's very important as you age your body naturally just kind of slows down and and you lose strength flexibility endurance and all those things so that is something you can fix and yeah. if you do regular strength training and um, balance training work on your cardiovascular fitness mm -hmm. there is hope for that yeah it, mm -hmm. even if you're staying fit it helps with disease as well doesn't it absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. yes it yeah. co helps combat high blood pressure diabetes depression mm -hmm. um, even a lot of studies show that it helps a lot with your brain health so okay. yeah. I know for you you have a real close connection to senior health and fitness because yes, of do. your beautiful grandma tell me yes. Yes, I her. do. Well, I love my grandma, and I've been so fortunate all my life to be very, very close to her. And um, I get to spend a lot of time with her. And through the past few years, we've just kind of seen her um, physically um, go, go down a little bit. Now, her, sure. she's probably has a better memory than I do. And <laughs> is very, very with it and sharp. I think we have a cute picture of her, too. Yes, we're show yes, you. I just saw it on there. Did you? So, oh, good. Yeah. So, but just her body just can't cut quite keep up with it. So because of that, I've been incorporating a lot more balanced training into my workouts. So you've, okay. came, you've come up with some exercises for your grandmother that you use on yes. some of your clients? Can yes. You, can you show us some of those exercises Absolutely. that we can do to keep us nice and healthy? Sure. So just walking in general is mm -hmm. great for your balance. But if you want to take it even a step further, mm -hmm. you can do heel toe walking, almost like a tightrope. So arms by your sides, trying to walk toe heel. Mm -hmm. And then you can take your arms out to the side for even a more of a challenge. So you really make balance. concentrate on putting the whole foot yes. down kind of in that rolling yes, motion exactly yeah another thing to do of course you want a chair or a wall close by right but just lift on one foot and balance um, you can even close your eyes for more of a challenge another thing is hip strength so you want to go and start to lift the leg out to the side really be conscious of your core and engage those right. ab muscles mm -hmm. I always use the analogy it's like I've come up and punched you in the stomach that's okay. the feeling you want then knee lifts just like that okay yeah. up and down and you know even for seniors when you're when you're kind of limited in your movements sure. they become smaller they become slower to yes. do those side hip things yes. you have to really make sure that you don't overdo it because you're probably really gonna feel it the next yes. day and you know just your body weight that's all you need yeah. and only the range of motion that you feel comfortable with of course always consult with your physician right. uh, trainer or physical therapist to yeah. help you with these movements well let me ask you another question which leads me because you're saying like body weight do you think yes. for seniors depending on if they're in good health condition lifting weights would be advantageous like mm -hmm. maybe lightweights and absolutely products. lightweights could be used okay. you just want to make sure if you have any physical limitations right. that you're doing something that is safe for your body okay but even things like um, you know think about getting up and down out of a chair how sure. that can be challenging for somebody so if you're standing behind a chair mm -hmm. and you even have where you do a little bit of a squat now oh, you don't sure. have to go crazy and do a huge squat but just that movement strengthening the quadriceps and everything is great for when they have to you know get up and down and just the main thing is it's not about looking strong or having big muscles it's about being able to maintain an active lifestyle do the things that they like to do every day yeah how, how often would you recommend someone to exercise if, you know who's a senior well the American College of Sports Medicine recommends strength training for seniors two to three times per week Week. Now that's strength training, mm -hmm. but I feel like balance training can be incorporated yeah. every day, every day, and should be worked Even on as much eye as possible. Hand coordination yes. as you get older is yes. important. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Michelle, well, you're the best. Hey, thanks for sharing your grandma with us too. Oh, She's I, a doll, I'm baby. I'm proud to. I'm proud of her. Yeah. And also, you know, one of the things, exercise we were talking about, endorphins. Yes. You know, they make you happy, so it's yes. always good. So, good mind, mind, body, and health. State. Thanks, that's Michelle. Right. All right. Hey, we have some of those tips for seniors uh, on our website as well at abc15.com, and we've asked you on our Smart Family 15. Facebook page as well what some of your tips are that's right well Joni writes my mom is 95 and we get her out of the house as much as we can she enjoys working in her yard and taking walks she has always been busy during her life working till she was 80 years old but in the elder elderly it's essential to keep the mind active visit yeah. friends and family a lot 
Um, it's also noted that depression is a big issue for the elderly who need to feel needed and loved. So. Good comment, sir. Yeah, you can always join the conversation. Mm -hmm. We're at facebook.com forward slash smartfamily15, and we're reading your comments. So log in and let's chat. By the way, I'm just going to say, Joni Racanelli, I have a feeling she's probably pretty good in the kitchen. <laughs> so, Joni, if you have any leftovers, you know where to find us.